trees, an organism we are all too familiar with. From the smallest shrub to the largest redwood, trees all play an essential role in sustaining life. A new study reveals that there are an estimated 3 trillion trees worldwide. This means that there are roughly 422 trees for every person on Earth. In a time when the planet is experiencing the destructive effects of deforestation and global warming, trees have made a powerful impact that makes them far more relevant today than ever before. Located in the Midwestern United States, the Morton Arboretum features plant collections and gardens across 1,700 acres. And it is here that we meet multidisciplinary artist Daniel Popper, known globally for his stunning works of art. Well, the Morton Arboretum invited me out here to do an exhibition, and we just thought it would be a perfect uh, theme to focus on the theme of human nature. And so the underlying inspiration for all these pieces is really just trying to show people how connected we are with nature. And sort of my intention about that is that if people can feel more connected with nature, they might be more inclined to want to protect it. And how long have you been interested in this type of art? This is a different type of art. So yeah, so I've been doing large scale sculptural works for about 10 years. I've been involved in the event industry, doing stage design and production design, and then have now moved into more permanent sculptural installations. So. And what would you want the young people to take away from experiencing this type of art out here in nature? Well, the main thing is I want them to be inspired and I want them to connect deeper with nature and I want them to connect deeper with themselves. The exhibit is called Nature, Human and Nature. So what was the whole tie to that? Is there a relation between humans and nature? I know trees talk, I think, they communicate, they're I, upright like we are. I, I think that uh, there's a deeper connection than people even realize. You know, I think that on a, on a deep level, we are more connected with nature than you can imagine. And that's really what I'm trying to show you. What do you find inspiration when you're in that mental block and it's like, oh, I can't find that, that go, creative spark. Just go for a walk in nature, you know, and, and, and try to let it just filter through you, you know, try to let it just, uh, try, let it make, try to let it make its way. You, you can't force it, you know, and uh, as long as you stay paying attention to it, something will happen. Mm -hmm.